You are listening to the It's Your Time podcast, and I'm your host, Certified Life Coach Michelle Arnold Burke. In today's episode, I'm sharing a best of replay conversation discussing transformational change through breathwork with energetic business mastery coach Alessandra Caprice. Welcome to the It's Your Time podcast, the podcast where busy professionals like you get the practical solutions and support you need to gain control of your schedule so you can strive to be the best in your career, but without the stress and overwhelm. If you're looking to increase your energy and decrease your stress, you are in the right place. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the podcast, friends. Okay, today I have a best of replay for you with breathwork expert Alessandra Caprice. And let me just take a moment to share why I wanted to do this this week. Last weekend, we had a pain society meeting, and at one of the dinners, I was talking to a couple of our physicians about the importance of overall wellness in our lives and preventative ways to increase longevity. And I truly believe that breathwork is one of the tools to help us get there. Now, it has only been about one year, full transparency, since I have gotten into this. In fact, I think it was November of last year when I first started following Alessandra. And I have to tell you, the work she does is amazing. It is truly life-changing. And you know, I am a huge fan of the mindset work, but what I found is that adding breath work is like adding gasoline to the fire. We have to be intentional with what is going on in our nervous systems. You can mantra all you want, but your body holds an entirely different level of wisdom and Alessandra discusses that in this episode. The other reason that I thought this was important was because I was recently listening to a podcast and it was talking about how we define success and how when we ask folks, what does it look like for you? Most people will say things like make the money, get the promotion, get the relationship, you know, all of those external things. And rarely do we list health as the top answer. When in fact, for people without health, It is their only answer. Let that set in. We really do take things for granted. You need your health. And breathwork is one of the ways to help you with that. Now, before we jump in, let me just give you a quick bit of info about today's guest. Again, Alessandra Caprice is an energetic business mastery coach who has founded a unique combination of business strategy and breathwork in her money breathwork method. She is a former private practice psychotherapist and has her master's in social work from Smith College. And listen, I'm talking about the health part of it here in the intro, but Alessandra also talks about the importance of advancing in business and making more money. She believes that women need to heal their limiting beliefs, and I agree, around money, money traumas, and really take off what she calls our armors of smallness while simultaneously expanding into what is possible. And let me just share a quick story. For the past, I would say at least two quarters, The last two weeks for us and our team have looked far from stellar, shall I say, and I will get super intentional with my breath work and I end up coming up with these ideas and actions that in the past I would never have imagined. It works. Now, we might hit goal at the last minute, but it works. And Alessandra is really paving the way for the use of breathwork as business expansion and using it as a business expansion tool, being one of the first to do so and focusing on money, visibility, marketing, and sales. And when you listen, you will understand her energy is contagious. So without further ado, please take a listen. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to have you here. Can we start by you introducing yourself, just sharing all the goodness, who you help, what you love to do? Absolutely. I am Alessandra Caprice and I am an energetic business mastery coach. And I am actually a therapist by education um, and became a life coach and then moved moved into business strategy coaching. And now I kind of combine it all with breath work in the way of using breath work to expand your business um, through money. I call it money breath work. Um, I create programs and, and experiences for entrepreneurs designed to 
expand their money, re the relationship with money, heal what they need to heal in order to expand into their bigness and get more clients, have the business that they love. Um, really it's the business that they love. Like that's the biggest thing I think, um, because I have throughout my journey through all these different pieces that I just said, like life coaching and business strategy. Um, I was always in the search. I was always in the search for the thing that was really going to light me up. Um, and that I could do when I was almost nine months pregnant um, and I found it. And so my mission is really to help most, I work mostly with women align with that vision and to become the woman who not only aligns with that vision, but makes a lot of money at it, yeah, <laughs> you know, fun, have fun and make money. Absolutely. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Can you maybe start with some of the foundational parts of breathwork? Because I think probably this is new to a lot of people listening. So maybe, I don't know if it's the science or the rationale, and maybe even just a little bit because you have so many different options and patterns that we do in the right. classes, like what yeah. that all means. Right. So essentially breathwork and why I love it so much um, and why I have gra gravitated towards it um, versus other modalities is breath where it gets you out of your head and it moves you into your body, right? That's just like the simplest, you know, like if you not understand anything, like that's what it does. Right. And what I found so as throughout the years, cause I've been on online entrepreneurship for almost seven years. I was a therapist before that had my own private practice. It's amazing. I didn't, the stuff that didn't come up when I had my private practice and does when I'm on an online entrepreneur is just, it baffles me. We talk about this all the time. I'm like, none of this stuff came up when I was, had my private practice, but anyways, um, but I'm sure a lot of stuff comes up for other therapists. I know that it did, um, for my colleagues at the time as well. Um, but what I found as a, as what makes breath work stick out to me so much is over the years, as I've been doing this work and doing the mindset work and the limiting belief work, and definitely the money mindset work, um, is it's all in your head, right? Like I'm working on the, it's all thought work. You know, I was trained in so many different modalities as a therapist. Yes. One was mindfulness and meditation. And I use that a lot in my practice as well, but, um, most of it was, you know, quick evidence-based type work that is all about, you know, rewiring your thoughts and, and reworking them and trying to learn new things and behavior therapy, you know, that kind of stuff. Right. And I noticed that throughout the years of all the mindset work that I was doing, all the education that I had, all the work, like really I was doing the work. I still had the same patterns with my business with belief in myself with money, right? Like my business, um, followed a beautiful, um, <laughs> shape of a roller coaster. <laughs> like I would do really, really well. And then I would kind of crash a little bit and then I do really, really well again. And then I'd kind of go back down again. And when that pattern started coming back up again, about a year ago, I was already um, certified with breathwork at the time. Um, I had finished my breathwork certification. I had been doing breathwork with my clients, but not like I do now. Um, I realized I'm doing all this work in my mind. I've been journaling. I've been doing the affirmations, the intentions, the reworking the thoughts, trying to choose new thoughts, blah, blah, ladder thoughts, all the things, right? I was doing all the things. And yet I was still showing the same pattern of what was going on. Like my business was kind of stalled. I didn't know what to do next. I was kind of, you know, had all my clients kind of ended at one time. So I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And so I said, I'm doing all this work in my mind and something's got to change because it's clearly not working the way that I want it to work. I still had success, you know, out, outward success. I was still doing well, but not the way that I wanted and it wasn't looking the way that I wanted and I wasn't happy, happy right? Like I was kind of like, eh. and so I, of course, I already was um, sort of certified as breath work. And I said, you know what? I am going to do this work. I am going to commit to this work 
um, because it's some, there's something else here. And it's not just in the mind. And so I committed to doing breath work because of its nature of getting you out of your mind and into your body. And what I found was just a, a uh, and I'll get into like breath work in a second, but this is why I really, um, really am adamant about it, <laughs> right? Because I've tried all the things, I've done all the things. And I know a lot of entrepreneurs have tried all the things and done all the things and people, like, they're really working hard and they want this to work. And why I love breath work is because it's so different that it is not the typical strategy that you learn in a book or I mean, I should, I could write a book and then you learn in the book, but, <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Like the things that we've like typically been exposed to. And so I committed to this breath work and not only started seeing just really quick results in my business, I started using with my clients. Um, and it started like them, instead of doing coaching with them, I switched to breath work and then we would coach between and their results were astronomical. And so this very simple concept of getting out of your head and into your body was mind blowing to me, right? Like there's something between the two, the mind and the body that is stopping you. And what I, I realized is, and when I looked back at my patterns, what would happen was I would get big. I would start making more money. I would have some success and my, not my mind. Cause my mind was like, yeah, let's make a million dollars. Let's do all the things. That's what my, your mind is probably telling you you can do this. Okay. You know, I would always journal about 45 K months. I don't know why that was just my number 45 K months. And so my mind was like totally on board with like being a millionaire already. My body on the other hand was the thing that would literally like halt me. Right. And so when I was to start looking back at these patterns of the roller coaster, right? Oh, it's when I had this success, when I started getting a lot of clients, what would happen with me is I would start to get a lot of clients and then it would kind of like, I, I guess I didn't think it in my head, but it would kind of freak my body out a little bit. Like, oh my gosh, like, what does this mean? More money coming in, more clients, more responsibility, whatever my, my armor of smallness is, um, the fear of success. And we can talk about those in, in a little bit too. Um, but my body was literally the thing that was stopping me. And so I would self-sabotage, right? And so when I w came to that link, like, oh, wait a second, all my work actually needs to be done in my body. That's where the commitment to breath work came in and breath work, meaning simply you are, you are using your breath for transformational purposes. Right. And like you were saying, we have different breath works. I have different lengths of breath work. I have long ones, short ones, all that kind of thing, but using your breath for that intention of transformation. That and would sense. you say, is it like transformation of energy? Because I know I leave some of these, um, breath work and I am either, maybe I feel lighter and more energized, but there are times when I'm like bawling yes. or there are times when I'm like, one time I was shaking so much. I like had to sit there and wait. I'm like, I don't even think I could walk. What is yeah. going on? Yes. So it is what I always say about breath work is it gives you exactly what you need in that moment. So if, and, and sometimes it's not what you think you need, right? Like I've gone into breath breaks and been like, I want to leave the way that you described it the first way. Energize. I want to you know, launch my program. I want to sell. I want to show up on a Facebook live. Right. And I go into a breath work and I'm either crying or I'm super Zen. Like I don't even move at all. Right. And so what I say is breath work gives you the shift, the transformation that you need in that moment, whether that is the release of energy, the movement of energy, the expression of emotion, right? The healing, right? Uh, the expansion, you know, you need you. And that's why I, um, you know, from money magnet, like I, I include all of those things in every breath work, right? So that we don't just do the healing one. Cause what if you do a healing one when you're ready for the expansion, right? But if you're doing the expansion one and you really need the healing. So I, you know, what, what makes my breath work very different is I make sure there's room for all of it so that you get the experience that you need. Right. 
Does yeah. that make sense? Uh, absolutely. And I think, you know, I know you focus on entrepreneurs, but I feel like so many people, especially women, could benefit from these breath works just in life, because I will go into a breath work to your point thinking, okay, I'm going to do something specific to money. And then all of a sudden, all of this stuff comes up about maybe when I was younger or family relationships or something totally off. Well, let me just re I guess, restate that it's probably not totally off. It probably right. is somehow related yep. to my money it <laughs> beliefs is. and thoughts. Right. And when you speak about getting into your body and out of your mind, I started in human services and I thought that I was going to get into like psychology, you know, psychiatry, psychology. But I also think like through the years, I just never wanted to feel feelings. And I feel mm -hmm. like this is that, Yep. right? Is yes. Am I on the right track there? Oh, 100%. So, you know, I, I had seen, um, I had read something and obviously I have experience with this, but um, I was reading a book the other day that she was talking, she was a therapist and she was, had been working with this woman for five years and they, uh, it, after five years, she finally revealed that something traumatic happened to her when she was a child. And I was like, five years, whoa, that means they showed up every single week and talked mind by the way, for five years until the thing that's been holding her back came out. Right. And I thought, thought we would have gotten to that maybe in the first session with breath work, right? Yeah. Because you can't hide. Right. And we, and, and that can be what's scary about it for some people, because it can be really overwhelming. I do believe that breath work doesn't give you more than you can handle in the moment. Um, so if you know, if you're going into it and you have trauma, like you might, it might come up, but you, you, the way that I, I structure it is I always have safety at the end of like really coming back to safety um, because a lot of the time trauma does hold us back from showing up in our businesses or showing up in our lives, in our relationships, right? And so a, a lot of the time as, as children and ancestrally, you know, we are taught to hide our feelings and not talk about them or, you know, things that happen. I mean, so many kids have been silenced about traumatic things too. And so when that stuff does come up during breath work, it is an indicator to me because I, I mean, you see this all the time with, my kids. okay, why is my dad coming up in breath work when we're talking about money or sales or whatever? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's really what happens. Right. And same with me, right? Like there's so many things that come up. I'm like, Oh, hello. What was that about? Right. And the thing is, and, and especially as I'm deepening this work in my own self, I'm deepening my concepts even deeper. We just did a program called Expressed that brought up so many other things. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. Um, what happens is these types of, um, I, I don't love to use the word blockages, but kind of like blockages, like traumas and blockages and things that things that um, hold us back in relationships or did when we were a kid, you know, imagine, um, you know, you were a kid and you, I think I have like very small kids. So I like, I am thinking about this stuff all the time. I'm like, oh, okay. Did you just get coded for like, you should not be quiet. Okay. Raise your voice. Come on. Like that's what I do with my kids all the time. Okay. I'm telling you to be quiet right now because it's bedtime. Not because I want you to be quiet other times. I'm like constantly doing this. It's really quite funny, but like, imagine you showed up and you like ran out into the living room and you were like wearing your cute little dress or whatever, you know, costume and you wanted to perform or you wanted to do something and your, your dad or your mom or your brother or your sister, whoever was like, get out of the way of the TV or whatever. No, be quiet. Right. Imagine a little girl, boy, whoever feels silenced, right? No one wants to watch me. No one cares. Right. Can we see how that would impact the way we show up in our online and in business or in relationships? Right. Yeah, absolutely. And I think too, um, when you talk about the difference of mind and body, and I just keep going back to this because I feel like for so many people, especially like the high, uh, type a people that just are going, 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 and yeah. you know, like don't have time to sit and journal or, or, right. you know, do breath work. But I think there's this extra layer with the breath work because I have been now coaching since 2017 and I've 
same thing, journaled, modeled, done all of this stuff. And I, and I could tell you like, for sure, I have money thoughts from my dad working hard and you have to, but I feel like the breath work takes it even like layers deeper of yes. things that maybe I didn't recognize consciously. Right. Nope. When journaling. Absolutely. I, okay. So the other day I was thinking, you know, I always say the other day and it could be like last week or it could be like three years ago. I don't know if that, if you ever used that phrase, but this really was the other day. I was um, thinking about that concept where we only use 10% of our brain and you know how they, I don't know the science behind that, but they say we only use 10% of our brain. I like to think of that, of journaling is that like we only really reach 10% of what's available, like available consciously sub, like maybe a little subconsciously. If you journal long enough, you might get into the subconscious, right? Um, if you journal long enough, like 45 minutes to an hour, meaning long enough, right? And what I see breath work as doing is now accessing that other 90%. Like I think of it, and maybe you have the same kind of experience when you do it, but I think, I think of it as like walking through this portal to this like new world, <laughs> right? You're like, whoa, I didn't see this. I didn't see that. I didn't see this, right? And and you just, you just don't get there with journaling, right? Like you might get some good shifts. Like I love journaling. I think it's fun and whatever. I haven't honestly, since I've been doing breath work every single day, I haven't really journaled. Like my journal's sitting there right next to my bed. I haven't touched it because either I go straight into writing or I just like sit with whatever came up. I mean, I don't know, but I just haven't, but I've had so much growth and so much aha moments and breakthroughs. And so I see it as that, right? Like journaling is a great, it's a great surface level thing. I always said that thought, thought work was more like CBT. I don't know if you've heard of cognitive behavioral therapy. I think of that as like the basis for thought work. Well, there's of course different thought models, um, but that's like kind of what I was taught in school and what I used with clients. I always saw it kind of as this like band aid, you know, this way of like, okay, let's like train our brain to think differently versus breath work is like, no, no, let's like literally reprogram our whole body and being. Yeah, <laughs> it's so different. And I love like, thought work and mindset stuff has changed my life significantly. And yes. I love the blending of these two, because I feel like it just, it's like fuel on a fire, right? Yes. It just it brings it to like such a different level. Yes. Yeah. And I love, like, if you were to bring in, like, that's why I always start with a little journaling in my workshops. Right. And if you start bringing in those thoughts and then, and then, um, I've done some really cool, cool breath works. This actually, this is one of the ones in, in the program, uh, money breath work, uh, where I have you do kind of intentions at the beginning, and then I have you breathe, and I have you then write them out at the end too. And so it's kind of the energy of thought work, but now the transformation happens between it. And now you're like, okay, these are the thoughts that I want to embody. And now you can take action based on those too. So I think it's so powerful to be, be bringing that in because a big part of the work that I do is taking action, right? Like, I don't just have you do this work and say, okay, done, right? It's like, okay, what are you gonna do next? And that does include, okay, how, who, what are you gonna embody? What are you gonna think? How are you gonna act, right? And those are important things to, to bring into consciousness so that you can move throughout your day embodying those things. Yes. I think that I have become, um, we talked to my friend Rhonda. She's the one who turned me on to you. And yes. I'm like, I am like a breathwork junkie now. She's like, you <laughs> did it every day. I'm like, I am telling you. And so I think that's important also for people to understand, like, it's not that you have to, and you've been saying this, it, it can be quick. It doesn't yes. have to be for someone who thinks like, I don't have time for that. Like you absolutely do. Yes. And that's why I, I create, um, very different experiences, right? We have our full workshops. You could go to a full workshop. When I do it live, I go, I go pretty long because I like to talk a lot. I like to teach a lot. But if you were to go watch the replay, you can just breathe and it's, you know, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. That's kind of our longest at the moment. And then I have those 12, 10, 12 minute ones that really give you that quick shift, quick movement. And then I'm even creating those kind of middle ground ones of the 15 minute, 20 minute ones that also give you that transformation. But I'm really um, conscious of how important it is to be able to do this every day. And not everyone has that 
40 minutes every day to go do the full, full flow. But, you know, having these shorter ones, that's still breath work. That's still moving you. That's still, you know, stepping you into your magnetism in different ways. And, and it compounds. I talk about this work of compound, the, the um, idea of compounding this work so much. Um, it's like the more that you do it, not only the more that you heal, the more that you're aware of, the more that you can embody, but the more you do, like outwardly do, like you're taking action, you're thinking different thoughts, you're embodying different ways of being, you're creating different things that are all in a, like every breath work brings you more and more in alignment with what I was talking at the beginning with like what you're meant to do, who you're meant to be, right? Yes. And what you also mentioned in the beginning, which has been such a learning and I'm still like, okay, Michelle, this is the way it's supposed to be. Like you will get what you need to get because a lot of times I think I need to make X amount of dollars and I have to do it this way. And now I've tried to shift that to create X amount of dollars. Like, however, because I started doing breath work and then all of a sudden I would like, I had an unexpected um, income tax return that was more than I thought, or like all these different things. And I'm like, okay, that's what I need to pay attention to. That yeah. is still different money coming in. Yes, yes, exactly. And I think we just did we just have this breath work in money magnet, um, the releasing expectations, we have one of those of like, releasing expectations of what it needs to look like, what, um, you know, I, I see this a lot in, in, you know, the coaching world of like, Oh, someone reached out to me about a program like that person has to be the person that signs up next, because they're the only ones that we know of. But when we're clinging to that expectation of how it needs to come in, we're ignoring all the other people who are like, Oh, maybe I'm going to come too. And I'm like, no, but it has to be this person. And they're like, Oh, she's got some weird energy there. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> right. But if we release our expectations, especially with money of like, it has to come in this way, or it has to be in this amount, or it has to be from this person, then we open our eyes to different opportunities and other realms of possibility. And people can come in from, you know, we think of, oh, these people right in front of me are the only people who are listening. And if we only talk to them, or we only think about them, then we're forgetting the person who's just about to find us and could literally come in and sign up with us right away. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yes, absolutely. And I also love your work around receiving because I feel like for so long, I, I like to do and give and do and give, but it's also that whole, right? You have to be able to receive. Yes, yes. And I think that's a really, I don't think, I know. It's a really big Thing with women women just in general like receiving compliments receiving pe people like testimonials like that was one of the things that um my husband had worked very hard on me over the past i don't know six to eight months he's like you've got to like allow yourself to receive testimonials and like ask people for testimonials because like the work that you're doing is you know so groundbreaking that i just wouldn't like i've been doing this work and i wouldn't ask people you know because i that was something i'm like i could receive money but for some reason that was a hard thing for me to receive so receive you know the accolades or the or the appreciation or the you know the transformations that people were getting and so i find that receiving when we even work with even if we were to do our money receiving because you were talking about how yes i work with entrepreneurs but this is just so powerful for really anyone right so when even if we were to do money work about receiving that's going to show up in your relationships being able to receive love and connection and people caring about you or you know just recently i had a friend um offer to host my baby shower and um it was wonderful and it was like just the most open like it just like opened my heart it melted my heart it was this weekend and i was like totally okay with hosting it myself and and you know a couple weeks ago i mentioned that to her and she's like oh i'd love to to host that for you and you know there was a there's a part of me who like didn't want to receive that right because oh no no don't do anything for me that's okay you know i'll do it right versus like Okay. Like I was, I feel like after all this work, my, she had texted my husband cause she kind of wanted to be a surprise. And then we didn't end up being a surprise, but she's like, I, he said, well, what, would you like her to do it? And I said, yeah, yeah, that would be really nice. You know? And I feel like even though I, I do this work so much with my business, but it, it like changes you outward, like with my kids and my partner and, you know, just like out in the world, um, it makes those compounded shifts as well.
Yes. I love it. I love everything. Have we missed anything today? I feel like we've been able to share a lot, but there's so much goodness. Is there anything oh my that gosh. like to add? <laughs> I can always jam forever. About this. <laughs> I was like, wait, but I better I be careful yeah, with that I question. Like, we might be here for two hours. <laughs> right? No, seriously. I really could jam. Um, no, I feel like we were pretty, we did a pretty good job of giving a good overview. Um, you know, like one thing that I do want to talk about for newbies, um, if you were to go gra grab, you know, access to my program, Money Breathwork at moneybreathwork.com. So that's really easy to remember um, that, you know, preparing that, you know, some of the shorter ones, I do different breaths in and that those are a little bit easier, but when you go into kind of the deeper ones, that first like eight to 10 minutes is really different than what you're used to. And so just keep going, right? Like if you were to keep, um, if you were to try this with us and join us in this breathwork movement, um, I really encourage you to keep going and to keep trying it. Um, I really encourage you to come join us in a, in a program or come join us in a free event. Um, I do free events every few months. That's and how I, I ended up finding you. Like, expansion experience and money magnet and all these different programs as well for, for different reasons. But I really encourage you to do this with us because it um, is one so much better in community. You get to share it with others. You get to see other people's breakthroughs. You get to share your own breakthroughs, right? But you're also fully supported and held through like, you know, what you're saying, Michelle, like things come up and oh my gosh, hi dad or hi mom or hi trauma from my childhood. And, and it's really um, important. It's always really important to me that you're in a space to be able to process that and to hold that and to be in the, in a supportive community. I am, I am trauma informed. I am a, a therapist by, like I said, education, I can hold and handle pretty much anything that comes up. I have seen it all. We do money breath work, but everything comes up. Right. And, and so, um, I'm not afraid of being able to go where a lot of people do need to go in order to break free of, of chains that have been holding them back. Right. And so if you'd go in and try, I know Michelle is a, as a breathwork junkie, but you might try it and be like, well, I don't know about that. I don't know if this is for me. Right. So I just want to encourage you to keep trying. Um, if it, if you really want, if you just feel, if you just feel like things aren't quite working the way that you want to work, that you feel like there's something deeper for you. You feel like there's a next level for you. You feel like you're just, you've been working to break free of something like breath work can be that portal, right? Absolutely. And you do, you have so many different programs and offers and we'll have the links in the show notes, but where is the best place for people if they're driving or walking? Like, can you just have that, um, I guess URL again? Yeah. Moneybreathwork.com is where they can go and, um, sign up for a free access to my program, money breathwork, where I take you through, um, just all the ins and outs of breathwork, right? Like I can kind of walk you through some of the science, like how to do the breath, what can come up with breathwork. I, there are five different breathworks in within this program. Um, and so you can kind of test and taste a little bit of everything while learning about breathwork and how, um, I use it very uniquely with money and business. And, um, even if you don't have a business, even if, um, you know, you're just like looking for something in life. Like, like I said, it's all, it all relates to what you need. Right. So if it's a, a money breath work and you're like, well, I just want to work on my relationship, try it anyways, because you'll find you get what you need. Absolutely. And I think there are a lot of people listening are in the sales capacity, like doing, and I feel yeah. like this is still perfect for, but to your point, it's not just, in my opinion, it's not just the money thing. It's just so much bigger. Right. Right. And I, you know, I have program, I have a program for sales. <laughs> I have my sales alchemy too. So <laughs> right. I've got it all. I've really yeah. got all. I'm, I mean, not yet because I still have so many ideas I have yet to do. Um, but we've got such an incredible foundation in, in my business expansion experience, which, which includes it all. Um, it's just such a great foundation of like, when you need something, like I got a breath work for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you so much. This has been so much fun. And I just love being able to share this information because I do think it's so helpful. Yes. Oh, thank you for so much for having me on. I love, I love jamming with you. Thank you.
Okay, wasn't that great? Here's the funny thing. I was getting this episode prepped the other morning, and when I did my meditation, it was a gratitude meditation, and the instructor started by talking about being grateful for your breath. It's something that we take for granted, right? And it's fascinating because it's one of the body's functions that is both just done subconsciously, right? We don't really have to think about it, and we can also be super intentional with it. And it doesn't have to take a long time. You literally can, in this moment, just take a minute. Settle. Breathe in for a count of six. Breathe out for a count of six. And do a body scan from your crown to your jaw to your throat to your heart to your stomach. Just take a deep breath in. So often, we are running around and we just breathe into like our chest Take a deep breath. Release. It is an amazing way to move energy and to settle your system. You know who else is actually a great person to check out if you want to know more about the science of breathwork? Andrew Huberman. The Huberman Lab podcast is a great resource. He has some pretty long ones, so you either have to speed it up or maybe listen to it in chunks, but his information is awesome. So as we wrap up, you can check out Alessandra at moneybreathwork.com. And listen, I also include a little introduction to breathwork in the confidence program that you can also check out michelleburkcoaching.com forward slash confidence. It is nothing compared to what Alessandra offers. It is literally just a little bit of a taste of what you might be able to expect. Again, Alessandra, moneybreathwork.com, and I'll make sure that all of the links are in the show notes. Okay, friends, that's what I have for you today. Let's meet back here next week, but for now, make it a great day. Take care. Did you know you can take this work to a deeper level with me one-on-one? Go to michelleburkcoaching.com and click on Get Started to Begin.